It is cold and muddy. That was muddy. Woo! Well, hey guys, I'm out of breath because I am literally chasing the sun. The sun is setting back behind me and I don't have much time, but I want to update you guys on a new vlog. So we're gonna go down in the woods here. Hopefully I'll have enough camera light to do this whole video. But as you guys know, we just got back from ATA show two weeks ago, got back from the SHOT show this last week and haven't had time to do a vlog. So got off work and sprinted out here to get out here before um, the sun sets so you guys can see an update because if you guys been following the vlog series which a lot of you have and I'm so Thankful for that because I enjoy making these vlogs and every time you guys comment or give a thumbs up or just encourage me to keep going That makes me just want to make more and more videos because I love the vlog series because it's kind of like a Day in the life or the behind the scenes kind of deal. It's real deal kind of stuff So I'm gonna be out of breath the whole time because I'm fixing to walk a big hill. You can see how big these hills are back behind me um, ATA and SHOT Show were great and we have a lot of New sponsors coming on board and a lot of existing sponsors coming on even bigger excited to share with you guys all that kind of stuff as it comes to um, I don't know just Actually is like concreted in so if you guys have been following the vlogs you remember right before I went to the shot show The loggers had come out here and they had started making these roads all the way through my property, which is just a benefit for me because they have to make these roads anyway to be able to pull these logs out of these huge hills. Um, but it gives me access to my property where I've never been able to get down before other than hiking and it's not an easy hike. So now I can get in here with the ATVs or a truck. Um, gives me a way to sneak in to maybe put some stand sights up and down through here. And uh, you know, if we do harvest a deer, shoot it up top more than likely that deer is gonna run all the way down to to the very bottom now we can get down here semi easily get those deer up out of here but it can be a lot of you guys have been really interested in this whole logging process because it can be a big headache oh those are cool got a lot of deer prints right through here deer love that fresh earth scent and it seems like the night of they're back in here as soon as they're getting done working for the day but um it can be a huge headache getting a logger in here if you don't know what you're doing and trying to find a logger that's going to kind of keep with your goals and objectives on your property not just come in and only want the valuable logs it can be hard to find so down below i will put um, this logger's contact his name is josh stevens stevens logging i don't get anything from it or any kind of deals or sponsorship or anything these guys are just good and i want to support these guys so if you're in my area give them a call if you're interested in doing this but what this is allowing me to do is by taking select cut out of my property it's going to pay for my ponds it's going to pay to clear food plots it's going to open up the canopy allow a lot more browse in here because the sunlight's going to be coming through create a lot better bedding it's just going to all around be better for deer and turkey and every wildlife species in here and i'm not just i'm not taking out every tree it's a select cut um, and if you guys don't know much about logging then you know find somebody that does out there um, or find a logger that's got a biologist on staff or something um, i'm pretty familiar with it i've got my degrees in conservation wildlife management and field biology so i am pretty familiar with it and then um, they've got a biologist or a uh, a forester i'm not for sure what his title is on staff and so they've just been absolutely great to work with so i want to show you guys some of this and uh get you guys updated taken out a lot of the larger trees out of here and I've actually got it set up where 10-15 years from now I'm gonna have another harvestable tree stand population they can come back in and do the exact same thing that's how I've got this property set up um, 
But these guys have been great. They've been falling trees in the direction that does the least amount of damage to all my standing timber that I've still got. And you can see they've still got all their branches. They aren't knocking branches off. They aren't destroying much. Um, of course, you know, to the human eye, anytime you log, it's not always pretty. But what's not always pretty to us is beautiful to the deer. This is a lot of bedding. This is going to create a lot of habitat and coming in here probably this next year or the next two years and do prescribed burns through here is going to allow this to clean up a lot faster. It already looks great. These guys have done a great job. It's not like your typical logging clearing off sites. Um, you can see even here over here on this other hillside I mean they were able to fall huge trees that two grown men could not even put their arms around. Fall them keep the tops together, not damage any other trees. But I can tell you right there, the deer on this property, it's one of their favorite bedding areas right there on that hillside. And now they've got a lot more structure. I think I'm gonna be able to hold deer a lot better um, on this property for sure. Another thing I'm doing on my property is around my food plots, I'm allowing them to take out a lot of trees because it's gonna really make it a lot thicker and create a lot better habitat around those food plots so the deer don't have to come from two ridges over to get to my food plot. They're gonna bed right up next to my food plot. It's gonna give me more hunting hours because those deer are gonna be able to slip in there right away. I don't have to wait for them to get there and should have a lot more deer in those food plots too. So all around, it's just been awesome. I'm really impressed with what they're doing. This weekend, I'm gonna get in here. I don't really have time tonight, but I'm gonna get in here this weekend, fly the drone over top so you guys can kind of see the before and the afters, keep you guys updated with the vlogs. Like I said, again, I absolutely appreciate all you guys' support on these vlogs. These vlogs are what I absolutely love to do. I can't quit looking out here because I really haven't got time to just walk. I've drove the four-wheeler through here a little bit and that's about it. It's been really muddy earlier this week so they headed out and they haven't done anything this week but they're back in here at the beginning of this next week and they're gonna start at it again. I'm hoping within two weeks maybe uh three weeks max that they are they are done with this man i only walked a little ways down this hill and i'm glad i didn't walk all the way down because i have to walk all the way up that just gives you an idea back behind me you can see the the hills you know you could call them ozark mountains around here but um they are not tiny and they're really steep in some areas so um but i want to keep you guys updated with that if you guys like all this logging process and you're enjoying it, just let me know. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of video this weekend and really show you guys what's going on and I'm excited for these guys to get back out here. I'm almost made it to the top. Holy cow. You can't even see it, it just goes woo. Well, I beat daylight and was able to catch you guys up with the logging that's going on. I've got my dirt nap gear broadheads here. Let's see if I can get them to focus on it. I don't know if we have to focus on it. There you go. For a second I did. I got my dirt nap gear broadheads and uh, dirt nap came out with a new one that I'm really really excited about that we saw at the ATA show and I got Tom to send me in some. This is a BMF by dirt nap stands for both fixed and mechanical. These things are some mean looking machines. I already love the way that their fixed broadheads already fly, but these are both fixed and mechanical. So you can see here, it's hard to get it to focus because it's wanting to focus on my face. And then these fly open and they give a two and a quarter inch cutting area, which is just insane. So uh, we've got a little bit of deer season left here in Arkansas well, I'm in Missouri but in Arkansas we've got a family that I really want to donate some deer to and we um, got a property that we really need to harvest some does off of so anyway we're gonna get to working on that let's see double headlights or just one set just one set but that's all so anyway sorry I got uh, Kind of interrupted. I just had the sheriff show up. I've got a crazy story that I'll share with you on next on the next vlog. Um, but I want to finish going ahead and uh, mounting up these BMS from Dirt Nap Gear, and then I'm gonna shoot them probably 
um, tomorrow evening or the next evening and make sure I am dead on and see how they fly and shoot them in my walk-in archery targets and then get out there this weekend and hopefully put, there you go, see if we can focus put these uh, bad boys to use. So um, yeah, you'll want to stay tuned in for the next vlog because I've got a crazy story that involves bullets flying at me. So I'm going to wrap it up. Be sure if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do it. Tell your friends and family what's going on here on the Hunting Grounds. Tell them to come subscribe to our YouTube page because we're trying to grow it. And uh, make sure you comment and give a thumbs up. And guys, until next time, have a better and average day. Won't you tickle